After being gifted a son, Abraham is asked to sacrifice him. Uh, and this was an event that obviously caused Abraham a lot of distress. As we've talked about in previous weeks, uh, it, this Isaac's birth was something that was a, a wonderful blessing, a, a miracle from very God. And here God is asking Abraham directly uh, to give that son back to him. Uh, and the, a lot has been written about this. Uh, the, the philosopher Kierkegaard, uh, he, he wrote an entire book about this. Uh, uh, and there's a lot that kind of, uh, that we can kind of talk about with this. Uh, in fact, in years past I have. Uh, but what I really want to focus on today is specifically this act of sacrifice, this decision from Abraham to, you know, be willing to give up the thing that matters the most to him, uh, to God. And in doing so, God does uh, provide uh, a suitable sacrifice as a replacement, uh, you know, showing that he has the faith to go even that far. Uh, God provides in that situation. And I think often sacrifice is something uh, that, you know, can lead to those types of situations where uh, God will step in and provide for us based off of our own willingness to give up uh, something that is important to us to pursue him. Uh, now, obviously, hopefully that thing that you're giving up that's important is not your family. I do not think any of us have been called uh, to follow in Abraham's footsteps in the exact specific way. Uh, but I do think that, you know, uh, you know, practicing this type of sacrifice is an important part of our faith. And it is something uh, that we should try and take the opportunity, especially when we've been called to, uh, to engage in. Uh, you know, every year we, do, we go into a period of Lent where we're fasting. And that's sort of one of a sacrifice as well. Uh, whatever you fast, it's a sacrifice. You're giving something up uh, that should be important to you uh, to show your uh, faith to God, your devotion to God. Uh, and sacrifices also are often somewhat painful, They're, which is what makes them difficult. Uh, you know, that act of fasting, uh, it does result in some pain and some discomfort, well, hopefully not actual literal pain, but some discomfort in, as you were, you know, not eating those meals and having to deal with the hunger that comes with them. Uh, so, you know, sacrificing is something that can be somewhat difficult, but it is something that is important for us to do. I, I really wanted to talk about this this week because of, uh, you know, it is the 4th of July that is coming up. This is obviously for America, a very uh, patriotic uh, holiday. Uh, if you are not in America, uh, that is completely fine. You don't have to worry too much about about this but I do think you know talking about sacrifice especially when we start talking about uh, a country uh, and, and a nation especially if it's a nation that uh, you, you feel that you can be proud in that you where you have freedoms uh, that is something that I think is very important to honor and on these holidays regardless of your political affiliation uh, what you think, of America as a country itself. If you live in America, I would take some time uh, to remember those who have sacrificed uh, to you know protect this country. Uh, to remember those uh, who have sacrificed uh, within your own lives uh, to bring you to where you are. Uh, and in that way, we can honor at this holiday uh, all that has kind of taken place to bring us to where we are. Uh, because sacrificing is not easy, and it is something uh, that we should recognize and should applaud and should uh, view in awe uh, whenever, it is, whenever it occurs. Amen. And now I'd like to invite you all to join me for our last worship song today. 